My name is Monika Zagrobelna and this is how to create a batch action in Photoshop on Envato Touch Plus. Photoshop Actions let you achieve stunning photo effects with a single click. But if you have a lot of photos to edit, there's too much clicking to do. That's why in Photoshop there's a special function to apply an action to a batch of files at once. In this tutorial I'll show you how to create a simple action in Photoshop and how to batch edit photos with it. I also show you how to add and install actions to use them this way. Let's create a simple action first. Open one of the files that you want to edit. Open the Actions panel and create a new action. Give it some name. Go to Image, Image Size and select some dimensions to resize the photo. Add a Posterize adjustment and adjust the levels. Now add the gradient map. Select some cool colors. Lower the opacity to make the effect subtler. Alright, it looks pretty good. Save the file to any location just to define the safe settings for the action. Then close the file. Click Stop Recording to save the action. What do we do now if we want to apply the same effect to the other photos? It's very easy. First, make sure you have two folders. One with the files that need to be edited and another empty one where the edited files will be saved. Go to File, Automate, Batch. In the Play section, select your action. In the Source section, choose the folder with the photos. Optionally, you can tell Photoshop to use the action on the opened files once imported directly from your camera or selected in Bridge. In the Destination section, choose your empty folder. If you want, you can also save the photos directly in their original folder, but it's not recommended. Better save than sorry. Optionally, you can also choose to not save the files at all and leave them open, which can be useful if you want to further edit them. Check Override Save As in order to save the files automatically without having to define the name and location for each one. You can also define the name of the file by creating a special formula. You can use the document name, a serial letter, a number, a date, in any combination you wish. Finally, you need to choose what to do in case of errors. Stop the action or ignore the errors and log them to a file. Once you press OK, Photoshop will start applying the action to all the files in your folder, saving them in the empty folder. It can take a while depending on the size of the photo, the complexity of the action and the size of the batch, but good news is that you can minimize Photoshop and do something else in the meantime. When it's done, you'll find all the modified files in the destination folder. As you can see, you can save a lot of time by creating a batch action, but you can save even more by using actions created by other people on Envato Elements. For example, this action contains a set of 20 beautiful photo effects inspired by film. They're very easy to use, just download the file and drag it to Photoshop window. Now this action can be batch processed. This action contains 20 vibrant filters for your photos. You can play them all at once and then simply choose the effect that you want to keep by moving through the history states. You can turn your ordinary photos into something completely new with these cool effects. This action adds a trendy duotone effect to your photos. There are 20 effects to choose from, each including a different pair of colors. You can play them all and then simply hide and show the layers to compare the results. But some actions are more complex than that. For example, this powerful action requires a masked area to add separate effects to the subject and the background. This is something that an action can't do automatically. To batch process your photos with such an action, first you need to create a mask in every photo and save the file in the PSD format to keep the layers. Now you know how to create an action and how to apply it to a batch of files. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching.